Welcome to Fred and Amy's Math Shack. Hello and welcome to this video on percentages of amounts. This is the second video on this topic, so if you haven't already watched the first one, I suggest you do that now. In this video we're going to be finding these percentages of amounts, so 5, 15, 35, 45 and so on. So with percentages of amounts such as 25%, 50% and 75%, you can use these quick tricks. So for example, if you've got your full amount and you're asked for 25% of it, you are just going to be finding a quarter of it. And finding a quarter of something, we divide by four. If you're finding half of it, obviously you're just dividing by two. And if you're asked for 75% of your amount, then you need to find three quarters of it, or divide by four and multiply by three. What about all the other percentages of amounts, such as 15%, 35%, 65%, 95%, and so on? What about those? Well, that's what we're going to talk about in this video. Example number one. It says work out 5% of 400. Now, if you've watched the previous video, you will know that you can use multipliers. And if you're really confident doing multiplication, you can do this calculation, 0 0.05, because that's what 5% is as a decimal. And you can multiply that by 400. So you can do that if you're confident doing a multiplication method and if you're confident putting that decimal point in the right place. Another way to do it is to think about 10%. So 10% is always a good starting point. How do we find 10%? Well, a quick recap of how we do this. This was covered in the first video. But if you've got 400 and you're trying to find out 10%, you're dividing it by 10 to divide by 10, all digits jump one column to the right. So we get 40.0 or just 40. So 10% is 40. And then to get 5% from your 10%, well, you can see here, I'm just gonna divide by two. So divide 40 by two and I get 20. So 5% of 200, sorry, 5% of 400 is 20. Example number two, work out 5% of 43. So again, you can do 0 0.05 multiplied by 43, or you can think about 10% to start off with. So 10% of 43, use the place value grid, 43 is here. I'm jump, jumping all digits one column to the right, I get 4.3. So 4.3 is my 10%. And if I'm finding 5%, I just need to divide my 4.3 by 2. So 4.3 divided by 2 is 2.15. So 2.15 is 5% of 43. Example 3, it says work out 15% of 670. So you can do this calculation if you are confident doing that. You can do 0 0.15 multiplied by 670 or you can start off by finding 10% which is 67 and then I need to get 5% so I need to divide my 67 by 2 and that gives me 33.5 but how do I get my 15% well 15% is just 10% plus 
plus 5%. That's how I get my 15%. So what I need to do then is add together 67 and 33.5. And if I add those two together, I get 100.5. So my final answer is 100.5. Example 4, work out 15% of 8. So again you can do 0 0.15 multiplied by 8 or you can use this method, so 10% 8. Remember, for finding 10%, we divide digits by um, divide the number by 10, which means all digits jump one column to the right, so the 8 goes there. But my new number, of course, is 0 0.8, so 0 0.8 is 10%. Divide both sides by 2 to get 5%. Oops, then I get 0 0.4. So 0 0.4 is 5%. And then I'm going to add those two numbers together because 10% plus 5% makes my 15%. So I'm going to add together 0 0.8 and 0 0.4. And that gives me that 15% of 8 is 1.2. Example 5, work out 35% now of 0 0.6. Okay, well let's start off with 10% um, of 0 0.6. So you think about your base value table, all digits jump one column to the right. So 10% of 0 0.6 is 0 0.06. 5% is half of that, so 0 0.03. But I need 35%, so I've got 5%, I've got 10%. I'm going to use these numbers to help me. So if I know that 10% of 0.06 uh, 0 .6, sorry, is 0 0.06, then I know that 30% is going to be three lots of that, so 0 0.18. because I've just multiplied this number, my 10%, by 3 to get 30%. So how do I get 35%? Well, 35% is 30% plus 5%, so I'm going to do 0 0.18 plus 0 0.13, sorry, 0 0.03, and that gives me 0 0.21. So my final answer there is 0 0.21. And if you're super confident, you could do 0 0.35 multiplied by 0 0.6 there to get the same answer. So 0 0.35 being the decimal equivalent of 35%. Example 6, 65% of 89. So again you could do 0 0.65 multiplied by 89 if you're confident with your multiplying pro procedures or you can do it this way so finding out 10% of 89 remember all digits jump one column to the right in the place value table so 10% of 89 is 8.9 and then to get from 8.9 which is our 10% to our 5%, we divide it by 2, uh, 8.9 divided by 2. Uh, again, if this is non-calculator methods, you can just use a bus stop, so 8.9, I'll just show you quickly how to do this, just in case we've forgotten. 2s into 8 go 4 times, 2s into 9 go 4 times, remainder 1, whoops, not like that, um, remainder 1. So, 4 times remainder 1. Where does that remainder go? Well, it goes next door to a 0 here. So, 
so the 1 goes here, and then 2 into 10 go 5. So 4.45 is your 5%. So I've got 10%, I've got 5%, but I need 65%. So let's just uh, do this calculation now. So I'm just going to use exactly the same number here. 10% 89 is 8.9. But this time I am going to multiply it by 6 to give me 60%. So you can use just a, a simple multiplication uh, method, whatever you prefer, diagonal method, column method, whatever you prefer. I'm not going to do it right now just for quickness. Um, but you would get 53.4 and that's 60% I need 65% how do I get 65% well I have to add together my 60% my 5% so therefore I'm going to add together my 53.4 and my 4.45 and that gives me a grand total of 57.8 Five as my final value. It's always worth checking as well that your number looks reasonable. So look back at the question. The question says 65% of 89. Well, yeah, 57.85 looks reasonable. It's less than 89 because, of course, you need a number less than 89 because otherwise you've not done the right calculation. And yeah, it's it's more than half, so yeah, we're in the right ballpark, 57.85. Example 7, you could do 0 0.85 multiplied by 6, or you could do this method, 10% of 6 is 0 0.6. 5% therefore is 0 0.3. I want 85% though, so I need to do this. I need to get my 10% back again and multiply it by 8. 6, 8 to 48, so that's going to give me 4.8. And then I want 85%, so I'm going to add my 80% and my 5%. So I'm going to add my 4.8 and my 0.3. Which together is going to give me 5.1. And again, does that look reasonable? 85% of 6 is 5.1. Yeah, seems reasonable. Example 8. You can, of course, do 0 0.95. Multiplied by 72. You can do that by all means, using a multiplication method of your choice. Or this method is equally fine, 10% of 72 is 7.2. And to get 5% of it, I need to divide by 2, which gives me 3.6. Um, but I want 95%, so let's do 10% multiplied by 9. So 7.2 multiplied by 9 gives me 64.8. Again, you can use a, a multiplication method of your choice to get that. 64.8 and you're going to add them together because 90, 90 plus 5% gives you 95% so I'm adding together 64.8 and 3.6 which together make 68.4 Does it seem reasonable? Yes, my question was 95% of 72 so I'm going to be very near that 72 and 68.4 is pretty close. So just to show you how you could do this multiplication here, 
Um, so 0.95 multiplied by 72, I'm just going to ignore that zero point there and I'm going to do 72 multiplied by 95. Let's just do the column method here because some people get confused with this so I'll just show it quickly. And you start off by doing 2 times 5 which is 10. I'm going to put a little one here. Uh, 7 times 5 is 35 plus that one is 36. Put your 36 there. Then you put a 0 on the next line and you do this way. 9 times 2 is 18. And 9 times 7 is 63 plus that one there is 64. Making sure we keep all our columns nice and lined up. 64 and then you add those final two lines there so 0 plus 0 is 0 6 plus 8 is 14 3 plus 4 is 7 plus that one is 8 and then we've got 6 here where do I put my decimal point oh dear don't want that going across there where do you put your decimal point? Well, I didn't do 72 times 95, I did 72 times 0 0.95. So I've got two decimal places in my question, so I'm going to have two decimal places in my answer. So my answer, of course, is the same as what I got before. 68.4 is the answer to 95% of 72. Okay, here are a couple of questions for you to have a go at yourself. So pause the video now, have a go at these questions, and restart the video to see the answers. And here are the answers. Very well done for having a go at those.